Hey guys, good morning. It is Monday, March 18th. Um, whew, I know you guys are having crazy dreams. I mean, how's these uh, downloads there? Um, <laughs> I was checking it out and yesterday all of a sudden my head became filled with thoughts and I, I didn't know if I was getting downloads or I was suddenly accessing a bunch of things that information that I already downloaded and when I checked the uh, uh, I can't even think of what it's called now <laughs> the uh, hertz that are coming in the uh, frequencies uh, so I guess there was a uh, I don't know if it was Sylphagio or Fegio or whatever you call it, but um, I was getting something yesterday. I couldn't stop, and I was actually out of signal. Um, I couldn't really record a video of myself, so I just started text messaging myself, knowing that you know uh, I had a record of all the things that were coming out of my head. And it was crazy. I, I ended up texting myself like over 30 times because my head kept get, getting filled with this information and. Uh, it, most of this stuff is going to be in my what the fuck energies report that um, I'm probably going to be putting together this week. I, I'm pretty sure I'm not done downloading information, but it's like yesterday I couldn't stop. Okay, And then this morning, um, I had to get up early to go somewhere and I never ended up going, but I had this dream. And right at the end, I woke up and it was... having to do with spiders and spider webs. I don't know if I should tell you guys my entire dream, but everybody was, my dad and his wife, I couldn't see their faces, but I knew it was their energy. They were spider webbed like rope tied around a chair. Um, they were off, they were hidden. And it was like, I went over to my sister's house. Mind you, I haven't been over to my sister's new house. Okay, sorry about that. I had to pause it for a second. So the parents were tied up by some kind of spider web rope. I'd never been to my sister's house and here I am walking into this hotel condominium looking thing and there were two rooms and a kitchen that I could remember. The bedroom was Tiana's of course, it was her house. I remember she walks in and she had two bags of groceries. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I go and I put them away. And a pair, I, I guess she walked in with her boyfriend, which I've never met. I don't even know if she has a boyfriend right now. And somehow I left. I left the house for a little bit. I don't know if it was to go to the store. But you know how it is in dreams. It, it's like skipping ahead a scene. So we cut to the next scene. And I'm coming back into the house. I see her bedroom door open. There's no conversation but I say hey T I'm back and I, I hear moving around in the room and, and you know I go off and I, I tell her I'm just gonna be right here in the living the main room with the sliding glass window and I can you know look out but I don't remember seeing beyond that but next it cuts another scene and next thing you know I'm sleeping on my right side on the edge of bed okay and I'm being pushed off the bed, like nudged gently. So I thought my kids were messing with me, right? And I turn around and yeah, there's, you know, there's my son, Chase, and my daughter, Callie, sleeping behind me. But I don't think they were sleeping. They were more like in some kind of um, coma or paralysis state. And there was my son behind me and then my daughter behind him and then behind Callie was this guy who I've never seen before, supposed to be uh, my sister's boyfriend, and then behind him was my sister, and my sister was kind of in that coma daze. I guess, you know, when, when a spider bites you, it's like a paralysis. So all three of them were in some kind of state of paralysis, and when I realized that, at first I thought I was being attacked. Okay, I fell off the bed and my legs were like still on the bed. So like the top half of my body fell off and I'm laughing, you know, thinking they're messing with me. And I look over and the, the guy, this young man was getting up off of the bed. So I remember jumping up and standing to my uh, attention to my feet. And he comes and stands right in front of me. Only he didn't move. He just kind of was on the bed one second and then standing in front of me. There were no footsteps. He, he was just magically there. And he's standing in front of me, and for a split second, 
I'd been scared, but I wasn't scared. That was the weird thing. And I looked behind his shoulder, and there was my boyfriend in the other room. You know, I could see him in the doorway. He was sitting at a table, and he was sitting up sleeping. But he wasn't, it was different from the people on the bed that were in kind of a coma. It's like they were in a trance, but my boyfriend was sleeping, sitting up. And that's the last thing I remember is being face to face with him. So I Googled it, of course, and I was looking for a male spider god and I came up with Anansi. Okay, and the, the, the African, I believe, African god, uh, creation god, spider god. And then I was like, well, I kind of resonate more with the egyptian gods and i was hot on the trail so it kept leading me to different videos and different videos and different videos and then i come to this uh american gods and i was doing a little bit more research and it turns out that the nazi is the equivalent to thoth in egyptian uh m mythology because Anansi was the keeper of the stories, you know, the keeper of history. And, you know, as you guys know, Thoth, or what was it, Hermes? I can't, I can't remember his name. But, um, <laughs> yes, it was a long time since I've been in school and, and, you know, learned about mythology. But, yeah, turns out he's Thoth, the keeper of wisdom, the keeper of the Akashic record. So I felt like because I was not being threatened, it was like these my family was put to sleep or they were put in some kind of stasis and I felt like he wanted to meet me but he said nothing although it appeared as he you know when he went from the bed to standing in front of me he never tried to harm me he never tried to harm anybody it was like he paused everybody else so he could say something to me but nothing was ever said as soon as he was in front of me and i looked over his shoulder still not scared looking at my boyfriend i woke up my alarm went off so i wake up and i'm like what the fuck so i grab my phone and i start you know recording on the uh, using the microphone on the text messenger and it's just crazy so i almost feel like um well not almost feel like i know i got a message somebody's trying to tell me something so anyways, numbers of the day, uh, what do we got, 18 and 24, so there's healing, okay, purging, endings, uh, creating a legacy of the self, taking leadership, ooh, taking leadership, being in charge of yourself, being self-reliant, and then we have 24, which equals six, okay, so there's healing going on here, there's love, there's taking care of the self, loving the self, leading yourself and then manifesting something into reality that's you're in harmony with or you're manifesting something that's creating a balance or you're manifesting this healing that's helping to balance things out um oh <laughs> so much information okay and the moon is in virgo so yeah I, i'm i'm doing the analysis paralysis and uh you know oh so much information so now i have like five movies i want to watch i want to find out more information i'm excited i i feel like i always want to know i spend a lot of time reading and learning learning and education has always been important to me wisdom and education has always been important to me and i stress that to kids i stress that to everybody so it's it's i feel like Maybe he was saying thank you or good job or I've got more to tell you. I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the dream will continue tonight. We'll see. So I've got the first card, judgment reversed. Okay. So judgment is about a wake-up call. It's clarity and vision. Oh, wow. You see these cards coming out? Yeah. Woo. Okay. Sometimes judgment is reconciliation, but it's karma. Okay, but the card is reversed, so it makes me feel like karma is not ready to be enacted yet. There is a process that is going on behind the scenes, and somebody's karma is on their way to them. I don't know if it's you or the partner, but it is not time yet. It is in the process, okay? How do I know that? Because you also have the star and you have death, okay? Judgment in reverse. It is not time yet, but it's coming, okay? There's stuff 
in motion. There's energy in play. The universe is working to bring this to you. And why do I say that? Because we have three major arcana. That's the universe working for you. And then we have the star card, which is the number of the day. Oh, wait. I lied. <laughs> it's not the number of the day. Um, it's number 17, which equals 8. The star card can be Aquarius, but it's also about... When things line up, it's about having a wish come true, having a dream come true. It's almost time, but there's one more transformation that has to be done. Or when you get your wish, it will completely transform you. In a way, it, it could, it's killing off the old timeline. You are now killing off the 3D and moving into the 4D on your higher timeline. Judgment is very... To me, it's dark, it's cold, it's, it can be cruel. So it has the feeling of Pluto in there. And with Pluto and Capricorn right now, this is, oh boy, um, getting what you deserve. The reason you were created and, and that you're here on Earth. You will know when it is time because the angels will herald it. They will sound their trumpets. But it's not time yet. Your wish is working on being fulfilled right now. There's transformations that have to take place. The star is also about something being being illuminated. Something not necessarily coming up to the light of day. But something that's already exposed. That's having light shine on it. Okay. This is being highlighted. Something is being highlighted that you need to change. The death card is number 13. For me, that's the number of transformation. It's about solidly solidly being committed to your ideas or beliefs. Morning. <laughs> being solidly committed to your ideas and your beliefs. Making the decision to be authentic in who you are. And moving forward from this point on without any doubts, without any fears. There's a lot of people that are like, God, I wish this would end. You know, they're trapped in their misery. They're suffering. So for a lot of you guys, you're wishing for the suffering to end. But it's not time because there's still something you have to learn from it. Almost, guys, almost. The angels will tell you. White horses, stars, and angel wings. I've been seeing a lot of those lately, and um, gosh, if I can. Uh... Get all my downloads written down in the what the fuck report. Um, you guys will know what I'm talking about. There's some issues here. Uh, what needs to transform? What needs to fall away? What layer that you need to shed is baggage from previous love relationships okay now love relationships does not only mean somebody you are in a relationship with this can be brother sister auntie uncle parents family members people that you did business with anybody that you ever cared for if you've ever had some kind of trauma or pain associated with them when something didn't work out for you in the past you are now transforming how you feel about things because we also have another nine. Whew, holy shit. Um, you got to purge your fears. You are being motivated to leave the past behind. Okay, don't be scared anymore. There's nothing to fear. We have everything to look forward to. So yeah, there's a lot of people working on guilt, guilt, fear, pain, Guilt, fear, and pain. And then we have the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is about reuniting. A lot of you Twin Flames and Soulmates, you guys are going to be coming together in union. I want to say this year, but it feels more like the end of the year. And, you know, a lot of the other 
card readers that I've watched, they're feeling the same thing too. You know, we all get the same cards, but we all channel differently, of course, because it's for a different group of people. There's so many of you guys out there, we can't possibly do a one size fits all. But the Three of Cups is about uh, having fun, throwing a party or attending a party, having uh, intimate one-on-one -on -one time with your friends, okay? And this could be you and your partner yucking it up at a friend's house, or this could be just you and your partner, you know, something like a gathering, a small barbecue. Um, some of you guys, um, there was an actual death. There was an actual death, and this person is now a star in the heavens, and it was somebody that you loved and it made you really, really sad and depressed. Okay, so this could be like a wake. Okay, so for some of you guys, you're attending a wake or some kind of celebration of life for somebody who passed. And for others, you've left a relationship that was toxic you want it out you're waiting for the moment for it to happen and you are on your way out or you've already left and this person has now become baggage you were scared or worried or fearful but you have your friends so you're spending a lot of time with your friends right now and they're helping to celebrate you okay bringing some joy back in into your life so yeah, this could be a funeral. Or a wake. Or just a celebration if you're recently single. Yeah, cuz here you're <laughs> you're you're in bliss. You've got a uh, 10 of cups. Emotional bliss. So right now you're really happy. Okay, you are You had a period of time when you were sad you cried with your friends, but for the most part you are going on With your own happiness, that's what this person who's gone would have wanted for you They would have wanted you to be happy. So all in all you're not letting this energy affect you Which is exactly what you're supposed to do and you're able to recover with a little help from your friends. <laughs> and we have Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is about ambition. This is very sexual, passionate energy also. This can be an excited message or this can be, um, well, yeah, excited. Like if somebody calls you on the phone and they're like, hey, you'll never guess what happened to me. Or I blankety blank. Or this could just be somebody... Um, trying to get into your pants <laughs> somebody who wants to date you okay possibly somebody you met at the get-together the wake or while celebrating with friends you could have met them through friends and they could be aggressively pursuing you wow look at that okay so <laughs> Not only do you have the ten, ooh, not a, ooh, bam. Not only do you have the ten of cups, you have nine of cups. Yet another wish card, and it's on the wish card. So somebody's getting their wishes fulfilled. It's like they've wiped out their judgments. They've cleaned up their ego. They've purged um, through the fire. This could be, the Knight of Wands could be somebody excitedly talking about their wishes coming through or talking about the changes that are taking place. Somebody who's looking forward to the future and uh, this could be an excited message. Somebody's going to get exactly what they wish for. I don't know if this is a job or a partner or whatever it is, but there's some magic here, okay? We've got the Magician. Remember what I said earlier? Judgment card came out reversed. Okay, so that, that usually means either somebody's coming back, you're getting back together with them, or this is karma, or this is something meant to wake you up. There's, you don't have to wake up, um, obviously. 
you're already woke. <laughs> you're going through this transformation right now. But see, the thing is what I was saying about having to wait for karma to come, wait for your rewards, wait for your wishes to come in. You're manifesting it, okay? There are things happening right now. There is energy flying back and forth around you as the universe is using the energy to create and send back to you, okay? Because we are divine beings of energy. As above, so below. So we got the magician and the star card. So we're waiting for some kind of spectacular transit that's going to create this transformation or that's going to finish this transformation or make this transformation final but in the meantime anything that comes at you that's negative you're managing to rid yourself of and shed quickly you are working some magic here and you have the stars behind you and it's not done yet it's just beginning magician is number one we do have number two number nine so there's some purging here um but the thing is purging is purity and that's what the transformation is going back to that pure state of love to the divine beings that we are it, it's a cleansing and the death card is related to scorpio okay it is the card of scorpio scorpio is also known as a phoenix like rising from the ashes but scorpio is water however not only is it ruled by pluto it's also ruled by mars okay mars is fire there's a fire a passion a drive not quite you know fire sign energy but the same difference um burning is actually removing using oxygen as fuel okay existing transformation willing the transformation this is uh the magician and the death card together is what is that thomas the train i think i can i think i can i think i can choosing to remain positive choosing to stay in the higher vibration not letting 3d and negative things affect you healing immediately cleansing it through the fire obliterating all of those things purging and coming back A force of nature to be reckoned with. Okay. The Knight of Wands. Wait. I know I'm getting confused. Hold on. I'm seeing other things. That's why. The Knight of Wands and the Death card. You see that? I almost want to say fire and ice. To me, that's Scorpio. Like I was saying, Pluto and the Aries energy. So somebody here is... Going back to the natural state of the divine being that they are, they're shedding through this transformation, removing the ego, coming back as a brilliant force. But it's a process. Ooh, look at that. Empress. Beautiful. Okay, we got the full moon in Libra coming up. Okay, so a lot of you guys are getting new contracts. Okay, you're having new, you're, you're having new children. You're having children or you're finding out that you're pregnant or you will end up having a child this is like a magic child. A ch we're all we're all a children children of the universe, but the empress is the beautifier. She makes everything beautiful. She's ruled by Venus, okay? So this is definitely the full moon in Libra. And Taurus is also ruled by Venus. We have Uranus in Taurus. So somebody's going to hit it big. They're going to be really lucky. That could be what this excitement about the transformation is about. It could be the transformation. Now, this could be spiritual. This could be physical. This could be mental. In any case, it is a huge change, and they love it. They're sitting pretty. The Empress is full of ideas. She's bursting. She's being rebirthed. Somebody is being reborn like the Phoenix. Shedding the old skin and emerging in a fresh new skin like a snake. Okay, the snake is wisdom. We've shed the old wisdom, what we thought to be wisdom. And now we're gaining clarity on the actual wisdom that was before. It's just like, you know, like I was saying in the beginning about the gods, you know, whatever religion or, you know, mythology that you follow. This is the work of the gods. 
shedding your skin in favor of new wisdom, new health, okay? Health of mind, body, and soul. Bringing us back to that state, purging any trauma or pain or heartache. Yeah, there's a... There's some heartbreak here. No matter what comes at you too, it looks like you're going to treat everybody with love because the Empress is love, okay? Venus rules love, money, pleasure, and, and values, okay? So it looks like there's some healing, a lot of healing in terms of your love life, in terms of your finances, in terms of children. There could be something going on here, healing with the children. Libra is also about children or childlike play with the Empress and the Empress and the Three of Swords is a healing in the home, a healing with the children or the, a healing with the mother. Okay, so a lot of you guys with Uranus and Taurus, some of you guys who lost your kids could be getting them back. Some of you guys who were separated from something that you love, something, someone, a person, place, a thing, idea that you were separated from, there's going to be a healing. These are double threes. You see that? Three, three. <laughs> okay, so that also makes me feel like the full moon in Libra because that happens on March 20th. The next day in universal time, I, I believe it's it's supposed to be, a, oh no, wait, it's at 6.04 in the morning. So basically 3.21, March 21st is a 3.39 day. Okay, so 3.39, 3.3 right here, healing in the home, healing with children, healing with the mother figure and excitement because there's a transformation taking place. This relationship with your children or your mother or them with you is changing. And it's something you manifested. Wow, this is crazy. I got goosebumps. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, King of Pentacles reversed on the magician. Okay, King of Pentacles is like an investor. Somebody willing to help you financially, who's stable, who's grounded, who loves to work. They're instinctual. The worker bee, the boss. This is the boss. You're trying to manifest something. The energies are moving around. You're trying to create a legacy, but it's not yet time for you to receive your karma. It's not your turn to be judged yet, but you will get it. Just hold your horses. You've got some transforming to do. I know you're excited, but we have um, King of Pentacles reverse. So that to me means that the finances are not yet in place. Whoever's going to be backing you, this is help. This is financial help from somebody. It's reversed, meaning the help is not here yet. You're still busy creating it. The universe is moving the energy around to create the finances for this person to come through and help you. Okay, they're asking you to please be patient. I know you're excited, but please be patient. It's in the works. It's coming, honey. You got two wish cards and, and wow, a manifestation card. Knight of Cups. Okay, Knight of Cups on the Knight of Wands. Somebody loves you. Okay, if previously um, you had trouble with them, but you hung on and you hung on and you hung on and you saw some kind of transformation, you have hope because the star is also about hope and healing and faith. You have faith that transformation that needs to take place will take place. Okay, and what's happening is you're getting um, a lot of offers. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is Prince Charming riding on Anne, but we have Prince, wow, that's three horses. I keep seeing the horses. I know that's Sagittarius, but the white horses is making me feel, there's two white horses here. That to me is Chiron riding in on the white horse, healed and whole, being excited about it, being very passionate about it, determined, 
putting all your power into healing and love. Okay, and, and you're going to get offers to um, this transformation that you're going through. You're probably getting them already. I mean, <laughs> like I was uh, somebody sending people, uh, I think it was, oh, my cousin was grumbling about people being in her inbox. And I'm like, oh, great. You getting dick pics, cuz? So, so there's a whole lot of single horny guys out there. They're stopping to, you see how he's stopping? He's not quite in one direction. It's like he's looking at you, catching a glance as he rides by. Okay, he noticed you. He notices how you're changing, how you're rising like the phoenix, and he wants you. So you're going to get a lot of offers. Uh, a lot of these guys are horny, but they're definitely taking a look at you. Knight of Cups and the Transformation are going the same way, and the horny is going the other one. Okay, so make wise choices, guys. Um, <laughs> Don't get your rocks off just for sex's sake, okay? There needs to be something that's spiritual and transforming in the relationship. And for you guys who are already with somebody, they're not going to be able to get enough of you. Um, be careful what you wish for. You might not be able to get them off you. Um, good luck keeping your clothes on. <laughs> you might have to spend a lot of time naked from now on. Because this one's hot for you. They love you. And I think that's... They could be the King of Pentacles also, but um, King of Pentacles also feels like outside help. So not only is it somebody willing to, oh, yeah, they're willing to invest in you, but it feels like two people to me, two different people. This could be like your daddy and your lover. Okay, so this all dropped out in the King of Pentacles. So this is about the King of Pentacles. Probably the reason why they don't have money yet. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, we've got... Page of Wands, the Sun, and the Ten of Wands that fell out on the King of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so this is what the transition is about. There are things that are taking place. Karma is not coming. This person doesn't have the money to invest in you, even though you're manifesting it because it's in a process. And what needs to happen is they need to stop being so impulsive. They want to jump the gun. They want to... Um, do something without having a complete clear plan, which is hard to do with Mercury in retrograde right now. Okay, um, it's not the time to get moving. That could probably be why this is reversed too, because you don't want to move forward on contracts or anything new while Mercury is in retrograde. Wait until I think it goes out uh, the 28th, so about two to three days after that. So literally April 1st, okay? April Fool's Day. <laughs> If that is not a day to trust in the universe, then I don't know what the fuck is. Because, I mean, it couldn't be any more fitting, right? Okay, so pretty much around April Fool's Day, you're just going to have to be patient. I know you're excited. There's a lot of excited communication here. But, why, wait, bide your time, okay? So, somebody needs to put the wands down. There's a burden that's going on with your investor here. Um, both your, probably your father, father figure and your boyfriend, lover, friend, or business partner has some unnecessary burdens financially that they need to take care of before they can invest in you, okay? It has to do with your career. Uh, the sun is about creative growth. It's about all things shiny. Oh, and that's one of the things I got channeled too, being shiny, shining, shiny things, metal, gold, silver, So yeah, there's some things wrapping up with your investor, um, your partner, or your father because of the sun too. The sun is Jupiter. It's also the father. It's also creative growth. It can also be something, oh, they're being drained of their energy right now. There's some energy drain on the part um, because somebody is struggling and fighting to put the burdens down. So there's, there's a bunch of transformations taking place. Not only do you have to go through a transformation, but this person, um, your partner or your father figure, uh, it could be an aunt with the male with the male energy that's funneling money to you or investing in you, or investing in your business. But there's def definitely a burden um, that they have to put down. Something that's draining their energy, their finances first before they can move forward. So don't worry, you know, have patience. It's coming. Just oh, there it is. Okay. Nope, you did drop. Ooh, wow. 
you get, you're getting a lot of job offers. I mean, job offers. You're getting job offers. You're getting love offers. You also have the Eight of Pentacles. To me, this is working hard every day. This is your daily grind. You know, this is basically saying until then, just work hard. Keep doing what you're doing. Do your research in this time of Mercury retrograde because it's eighth house, yeah? Pentacles. Do your research. Um, you might be working on a project with somebody or this is a collaboration that you're working with somebody on or somebody is going to work on you with. In the meantime, just do your everyday thing. I don't see any boredom here. It's just like you've got a lot of responsibilities that you're taking care of, a lot of obligations. And with the Eight of Pentacles and the Death card, that's Legacy. Okay, you've got Legacy right here. So some of you guys, if you're getting a divorce or if you're leaving a partnership, you guys might um, inherit something. This could also be taxes too. Taxes on an inheritance, an inheritance, or somebody leaving a legacy behind for you. Inheritance. This could also be like severance pay. Like, say you left an, uh, you left your job for a new job and. This could be like receiving your severance pay, or this could be a bonus to begin working. There's a lot of traveling here. You know, like I always sing about the horses. Even here on the sun, there's a white horse. Okay, so to me, that's healing. Healing in terms of job, work, finances, money healing, career healing, status healing, identity healing. Oh, and there's another child, okay? Another child, a star is born. We've got the star. So for a lot of you guys too, if you guys know anything about prophecy um, around the full moon in Libra, I guess that's when uh, a star is reborn. Morning star, Venus. This is the savior or Jesus, the second coming of Jesus is what this feels like. Now, I'm not Catholic, so I apologize if it offended you. No, actually, I don't care. <laughs> this is my channel. I'll say what I want. I believe in all perspectives. Another Libra theme, you know, um, allowing people to have their own perspectives. So you also have the Page of Cups. So this could be an apology. This could be an offer of marriage, but they're hot for you. I mean, there's just so much passion and so much attention. This almost feels like with the eight and the Scorpio energy, it feels like you can't get them off of you. Um, obsession. Stuck on you. And you're going to find that there's a lot of them. Um, Now the page of cups could also not it could also be an apology. Okay, page of cups and three of swords could also be an apology. So you could be receiving an apology or you could be making a, an apology to purge yourself of things. Ho'oponopono, setting things right or people are setting things right with you. The empress is the very essence of feminine power. This could be somebody uh, wanting to make you an offer because they're worried. They don't want. They don't want you to become. They don't want you to become baggage. For some of you guys, they could have been asking you to marry them. For some, uh, and for some of you guys, you accepted, and for others, you turned it down. The Empress Page of Cups and the Three of Swords is like, mm, no, I can't marry you, <laughs> or I'm sorry, I want to marry you, asking you for the wrong reason. You're getting a lot of offers.
you're like, um, it's like you're being adored. Maybe that's what the transformation is about, is people are listening to you. They're taking notice of your message. They're seeing your magic. They're envisioning you or, or they're receiving you as the receiver. Okay? You're a queen. You're beyond a queen. You're all queens. You are creatrix. You're a goddess. Venus. Um, the thing about it is you're getting all these offers of love. Maybe the three of hearts could be some form of jealousy. You know, because Venus can be jealous. She can be jealous. She can be vindictive. Um, somebody, if you got turned down, uh, if you turn down some offers, they may get jealous or they may be vindictive uh, to you. Boy, this is a long reading today. All right, what do we got? Justice. Queen of Wands. Okay, so this did come out over here. So some of you guys, um, whoever is ridding themselves of this burden... That's feeling drained of energy. They're not feeling very motivated. But it's okay because the universe will compel you to move when it's time to move. Okay, so what do we got here? Yeah, um, somebody wants to marry you. We got justice. This is legal matters. It's contracts. Libra is contracts. Okay, it's also, contracts are also agreements. There's negotiations going on, and don't let it go beyond negotiations. If you do, you need to look at the fine print and make sure everything is clear and truthful. For some of you guys, this is justice, being honestly represented, finally uh, having this person chase you when all this time you've been chasing them. This is a 180 they're hot on your trail now, and you're looking forward to the future, um, running your empire without fear, without doubt. You know who you are. Justice is Libra. It's 11. Manifesting. Hold on, guys. Let me make sure I'm getting everything. Justice tells me that things will work out in the end. This could be legal matters, like I was saying, with inheritance or taxes or um, tying things up like a divorce or any kind of contract or agreement, um, including agreements with the self. Agreements with the self to always stand in your power. Okay? And agreements with yourself to shine no matter what agreements with yourself to work hard at these transitions okay last card guys <laughs> Ooh, last two cards all righty what do we got we got the knight of swords and we got the four of wands marriage and commitment yeah somebody uh somebody wants to marry you <laughs> they might, uh, this might be another set of somebody asking you to marry them. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is about fighting for an idea. Somebody's, somebody's in love with you. They want to marry you and they're not giving up. Four of Wands is achievement. See how they both win? Both of them. Together, they did it together. The truth is you guys balance each other out. Knight of Swords can be bitchy communication, but this looks like a message. It looks like it's fighting for an idea. Okay, so a lot of you guys, you've got the magician, you've got judgment reverse, meaning it can go the other way. You've also got nine... Nine of Cups, and you've got the Star card, okay? You've got wishes pending, bro. <laughs> you got wishes pending, okay? So keep fighting for it. Keep pressing forward. Keep remaining detached because you're manifesting all this shit. You're manifesting the job you want. You're manifesting your real self. Not that you're manifesting it, but you're manifesting the... Uh, you're, mani uh, you're wishing for the path to open up the guidance you need. Okay, you want to know the truth. 
the truth about your reality, okay? And everything you wish for is coming. But you remember, remember, you cannot be attached to an outcome. So keep yourself as detached as possible, but still come from a place of compassion. <laughs> I almost want to say good luck with that, but I know you can do it. It's really, really hard, but you can. Can. All right. Guess that's it. <laughs> Bye bye. Fortune, value, and wealth, abundance. One of the numbers of the day. Okay, we got abundance. It's we're manifesting something um, that's going to create balance that we're in harmony with. My intention is to cultivate appreciation for all that I have, and to shift my focus from suffering and lack to gratitude for the abundance that is within within me and around me. <laughs> Excellent. <coughs> True abundance is a state of mind, a perspective. When you choose to find appreciation for all that you have and for all that you are, you cultivate an inner environment that allows for and attracts abundance. That which you focus on expands. So by shifting your focus towards gratitude for yourself and all that surrounds you, abundance follows. Right. The attitude of gratitude. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Love you guys. See you later. Bye.